Hello everyone. It's nice to see you after a long time. Uh, I know I've been gone for a while because I've been having a lot of personal um, uh, time and I've not been very well lately. Anyway, um, the purpose of this video is to just give you an update. Today is my first wedding anniversary. same date this time last year I got married to my husband and uh, I'm very happy that's why I'm all dressed up because we are going to go out for lunch and a little bit of uh, gift shopping for each other so I'm pretty happy and um, I wanted to make a tutorial of the look that I had but somehow I didn't press the record button I was so silly for not doing that but nevertheless I'll probably walk through uh, the products that I've used and a little bit more update of uh, the other videos that I'll be doing and yeah let's get started so the first thing I did was to apply my foundation um, foundation blush in powder after which um, uh, the base was uh, Rubenesque uh, pink pot from MAC and then I used uh, melon pigment for the lids um, you can actually get these pigments from body needs okay I'll, I'll post the link of where you could get these pigments on the sidebar and uh, after that, I applied some um, uh, orangey toned eyeshadow. This is from NYX. This is uh, Sunset. A beautiful orange, uh, shimmery orange tone for the crease. And to define and um, yeah, to make the crease a bit more visible, I apl applied a bit uh, of this 24 karat um, eyeshadow. This is a very nice uh, deep rust rust or would you say coppery toned eyeshadow yeah this was for the crease and also i used this as a blending color and then for my highlight eyebrow to highlight the eyebrows i used a uh, cream cottage uh, sorry cream cheese from nyx as for my eyes i used the usual um, black uh, boot black fluid uh, eyeliner from MAC and then as for my cheeks I used um, Foolish Me this is my favorite blush it just gives a very nice uh, you know flushed look and um, as for my lips I used uh, two of these lip tars one is Melange and uh, the other one is uh, Feathered so I mixed these two and this is the color I got and I lined the lips with the regular black me brown lip pencil so this is all I did for my uh, face my look so if you still do want to see the process of how I did it leave me a comment maybe I might do a tutorial so uh, coming back to the you know update I'll probably do a, a couple of videos um, probably touch on some reviews and stuff so I really like this uh, Revlon Colorstay uh, makeup foundation somehow or rather uh, I noticed that um, women of color in Singapore or I should say brown skinned uh, women do not get much options in terms of the color range so I have ordered a couple of colors from um, the drugstore no it wasn't drugstore but one of the US sites I'll probably get the package soon so once I get the package, I'll do a review. Um, yeah, I'll do the right tone review. This one is a little too light. So today when I did the foundation, I used this and a little bit of MAC uh, Fluid Foundation uh, NC50. This is NC45, but the NC50 is in my drawer. So I used this too for my foundation. Somehow or other, I'm really liking it. Uh, it gives a very nice uh, natural look and it covers the pigmentation that I have. I have around my mouth and a little bit over here. 
So yeah, and um, I'll also do some reviews of some of the products, NYX products, things that I like and things that I don't like. And uh, I've also noticed that uh, some of the YouTube gurus have uh, made videos on YouTube made me do it. Well, to tell you frankly, I have bought so many, uh, you know, cosmetics based on the reviews from YouTube. And I'm a huge fan of YouTube. So I'll probably do some reviews uh, on the stuff that I've bought. And um, yeah, I want to be a bit more uh, active. It's just that I've been too busy, you know, lately. So yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you have a great day. So see you soon. Bye.